I don't have any coffee yet because I'm still trying to wake up, but admittedly so is the show as well. <laughs> Star Wars. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 3 of WandaVision. Still waiting for the point of the show to kind of reveal itself. It at least gave us the freaking carrot in this episode, though. This episode has Wanda and Vision dealing with Wanda's very, very sudden pregnancy. There are some jokes, there's some odd VFX kind of tricks here and there. For the first half of the episode, it's just kind of just... Bongo. There's a few jokes here and there with some of the neighbors about trying to get out of the area. Vision is still like, oh, about it all. Part that matters to this episode is the last five minutes where it starts to get really breaking the Truman Show wall. And now comes the question of who's actually in control of the booth, or not so much who's in control of it, but who's wanting it. Wanda is clearly in this dimensional hole. She is in this weird augmented reality so it's kind of like a maze runner sort of deal or something along those lines but i think she's also kind of dipping into her own guilty conscience and realizing that if she escapes this world if she's out of this she loses vision because vision is dead in reality but at least that's what we're being told that's what we have been told since infinity war but this false reality this augmented world is clearly giving her what she wants and she is playing into it. There was even that little tidbit where Vision was like, hasn't something terrible happened? Isn't this some sort of false world? And then it just right back. It didn't even do the rewind or even she didn't even have to say no like last time. It just cut back to Vision being like, oh yeah, it's like that. But as I said, I am still waiting for this show to be something. They had all of these ads talking about how it was going to be a new barrier television or something like that and right now it's just been strange homages to 50s, 60s, and 70s television. I'm not getting anything else besides that. There have been a few visual effects that have been quite impressive I'll say. Every time Vision switches back and forth that's pretty decent. This doesn't do anything yet to really drag me in. I, I'm still waiting for that and to appear. It started. It started to say and at the end of this episode, but we're still not in the full know of what's happening. But at least this episode had more than 30 seconds relevant to the main plot of whatever this show was about rather than the last two episodes that had maybe 30 seconds apiece. This spent a good five minutes about what the show's about. Either way, I'm still kind of on the eh about WandaVision. I'll admit that probably my favorite part of the whole episode was when the aspect ratio changed. It went from the old box tube to the widescreen normal formative mat. That was probably the most interesting part of the entire episode to me, and that might be saying something when an aspect ratio change is the thing that makes me go, oh. It's between like a three and a four, honestly. Production value is good, yeah, I'm not gonna deny that. It's still a little weird to see how this is still taking its goddamn time to really talk about anything. I don't know, I think I'm gonna give this a three out of seven. It's just not hitting me yet. Maybe next episode will be the one that's like, ah, oh, yeah, because sometimes shows can do that. They can have a very, very dry and dull opening, but then the latter half is exceptional. And that might be the case with WandaVision. We'll see, because now we're a third of the way through this, so we'll see how the rest of it plays out. But otherwise, I'm still not hooked on this. And considering all the things that they said the show was going to be, I'm really surprised at how dry it is still. Anyways guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, We'll see you guys soon.